Welcome to the Mana Burn. Let's start cracking packs and taking names. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Steve with the Mana Burn. Um, today we are doing a box sponsored video of Ikoria Layer Behemoths for Alex, and uh, he'll get everything uh, sent to him. So thank you, Alex, for sponsoring this box opening. If you would like to sponsor a box opening or just want to help out the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, join the Discord and uh, check out the website. Uh, a lot of cards for sale on there, and uh, we're posting more cards every day. So um, check out Patreon as well for other great discounts. Uh, right now I'm running, uh, if you're a Patreon, it's $90 a box for Core 2021 uh, for pre-sale. So it's $89.99 a box. So check it out, and uh, let's get to cracking some packs and taking some names here. Let's see what we can come up with. All right, since it's a box-sponsored video, we're going to go ahead and open up all 36 packs. Oh, the box topper. We'll keep that to the side. Let's get all these packs out of here. Get the box to the side. All right. And away we go. Pack one. Oh, it looks like an alternate art in pack one already. All right. We have a Thieving Otter. So cool looking. And a Dirge Bat Alternate Art Rare. Nice. And uh, not a ton of anything here with the, uh, with the Uncommons. We'll just put the Commons off to the side there. With the lands. So Dirge Bat isn't that bad of a card. Just the Mutate for 6 is just too much. Um... If you mutated for four even, it would be something that I think would get a lot more play. Boom, and our first mythic, Vadrock, Apex of Thunder. So it's three mana for a 3-3 three, three flyer first strike. That's really good. Um, mutate four. Whenever it mutates, you can cast a target non-creature card with converted mana cost three or less from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. So, you know, it's... It's not too bad uh, in one of these. Ooh, Sprite Dragon. Good, uncommon. That wouldn't be too bad in one of the... Um, oh, Great Horn. Sorry, I didn't check the first pack for the um, the uh, alternate arts there, so check that one. But the... Um, it's not... I mean, it's not a bad card, again. I mean, the Mutate for four isn't horrible, uh, but getting, you have to make sure your graveyard's full, basically. Maybe play a lot of instant sorceries, uh, type deck. Mythos of Aluna. Um, nothing really to say about that one. But back to the Vadrock, the, it seems like they did red, green, blue. For a lot of the, you know, Kalamax, where you're going to cast tons of instants. Uh, and stuff like that for and you know help bulk up a graveyard and obviously in red white blue you can do a lot of drawing and discard and stuff so good deck or good a uh, good idea all right we got our triome here nice nice rare nice card let's just go through here no no alternate arts so far not bad though we got a mythic and we got a Try land here in the first four packs with an alternate art rare, so we're doing pretty good. Rare foil quartz war quartz wood crasher. Uh, put the foil there, and then a whirlwind of thought that'll go good with Vadrock. Drawing a bunch of cards and then discarding your hand or discarding your uh, your extras, um, but at least you're drawing extra cards, so you keep your hand full, especially in EDH. You need to have those responses so. Oh, man, that looks really nice. Bloodfell Caves Foil, all right. Offspring's Revenge. Eh, not really much to say about that card there, unfortunately. But there's not a lot as far as the uncommons and commons go in this set either, you know. I've seen these boxes, uh, you know, now that they've been released for, for a few weeks, they're down in the uh, $90 or $95 range, not including shipping and taxes on uh, on some websites. All right, Sea Dash or Octopus, not bad. Whenever this creature deals damage to a player, you know, you draw two cards. So if that's, um, if that's mutated onto something, 
not too bad. But the thing with the blue with the with that card is that there's no benefit to mutating it. So a lot of the cards have, you know, when this creature mutates, but unfortunately that one just doesn't have any additional benefits. Dranith Magistrate. Great card, great card, especially for Commander. Uh, basically puts a lock. Puts a lock on, uh, on Commander staying in Command Zones. Or people trying to cast things from their graveyard. Oh, there we go, Loris, the Dream Den. Great, great, great card in Aristocrat decks. Great card. And we have one alternate art. Let's see if we can get any more. Nope, no more. Oh, I'm like I'm lollygagging a little bit in this video, huh? That's all right. We'll get it going here. Oh, we have a rare. Oh, we have a foil wingspan mentor. And then we have a great foil here, the Ozolith. Great card. The, uh, you can do so much with those counters. Um, moving them from creature to creature. Uh, play Infect. One of your creatures dies as a whole bunch of plus one, plus one counters on it. You play another Infect creature. Pop that on there. You're doing all right pretty quick. Ooh, Shevel. Bane of Monsters is our next Mythic. Mythic number two. So two in the first 12 packs. Not bad. It's actually pretty good. No alternate arts. All right. We're down to last pack of row one. Uh, let's see. Death's Oasis. Leave that there. You can pause the video if you'd like to read that wall of text. Lord Rockus. Nope. No other alternate. No other uh, showcase arts are what they're called. Not alternate arts. Everybody excited for Core 2021, man? Some of these spoilers coming out are just awesome. Oh, we have... Oh, look at that. Oof, I got to pause. The talking. That is beautiful. Ketria Triome. Showcase foil. Beautiful. Oh, with a Savai Triome as well. That's a hell of a pack right there. Hell of a pack. Nice. So back to the core 2021, we've already seen, you know, Massacre Worm, um, Chromatic Ori, which I think would be a great uh, card, a staple in a lot of commander decks. Um, ooh, Yodaro Wandering Monster. Decent little card in cycling decks. But we have, uh, we also have what, Ugin, the Spear Dragon. We have that Teferi that's going to give you multiple extra turns. So it looks like they kind of beefed this core set up. You know, a lot of reprints, um, good reprints. So hopefully they can uh, stick with the uh, spoilers and we're still going to get some good cards. Labyrinth Raptor. Um, yeah, so hopefully we still find some great cards here coming up in the next in the next couple of days, couple of weeks leading up to the release. I guess the release is, what, about a month away now? Um, so we'll see. Uh, we got a foil. Tagia Tiger Foil, Eat to ex or Extinction Event, sorry. Not a bad card, especially in Commander, like I said. A uh, good little board wipe for anything that's really annoying you. Oop, there we go. You have, uh, if you're playing with black and you're playing with a Void Winnower, where nobody can block with stuff that's two or cast anything that's two, you cast a Extinction Event, kill everything that's three, or odd, I should say. Nice little deal there. Jengatha, the Wellspring. It's a good uh, good commander card uh, to have as your to have as your general. Cuts down on mana cost of creatures. Ooh. We have a Crystation. I believe this is going to be an Everquill Phoenix. Yep, Everquill Phoenix Showcase Art. Keep that with the Showcase. Actually, we'll keep that with the Rares. Let's see if we have any more Showcases. Nope. Okay. We're a little bit more than halfway through the second row here. No Mythics in this row. Come on. Let's go. Let's get some Mythics here. Mythos of Snapdax. Still, I think the Mythos of Vadrock is... Uh, um, my favorite one. Heartless Act, that's a good uh, uncommon. 
Oh, Cloud Piercer. All right, cool. So again, getting back to Core 2021, a lot of good stuff coming up. So I, I'm excited for the set. Oh, Sky Cat Sovereign. Ominous Seas, another good uncommon. Alternate Art, Hunt, Hunt Master Liger. Oh, man. I'm assuming you guys saw that mess I just made. All the cards falling over. Well, apparently the common stack is a little too tall over here. Let me get, let me move that out of the way there. Sorry about that little uh, little mix up. No more alternate arts. Okay, cool. Let's go, Mythics. Come on, let's get on a roll here for Alex. Oh, nice, another foil rare, Everquill Phoenix. I bet you this one's more expensive than the than the alternate art one because the alternate art one just seems so easy to get. So nice, and a Genesis Ultimatum to follow it up. Very nice. I mean, I don't think Everquill Phoenix is uh, that expensive of a card or anything, but still, much much better looking card. All right, let's see. Feather token, an island up. Oh. Come on, doesn't want to show. Oh, Narset the Reversal. Mythic number three. Very nice. This is a great card. Got this in my Pramicon deck. Um, I haven't been able to play the Pramicon deck lately. I've been doing a lot of other deck building and things like that. Make sure you do check out the deck tech videos. I'm going to be doing um, at least three or four deck tech videos every single week moving forward. We're going to have budget. We'll have non-budget. It's going to be really good. Um, it'll be for everybody to check out. We'll have everything for everybody's price ranges. Um, foil. Weather weaponized. Boom. General Kugro Granite. Foil num or mythic number four. So we got two at the close of row number two. Uh, we, and now we actually have one more pack in row two. So awesome. We're on a, I hope we can hit six mythics, man. But that's the pace we're on. Let's go. And then we've got Amori, the collector. Good rare. Migration Path, good on common. And no showcases. Boom, let's start on... Starting on our last 12, boys and girls. Foil Mountain. Beautiful, beautiful. Obosh, the Prey Piercer. Oh, Glowstone Recluse. is a, We have an alternate art there. And no more alternate or showcases back in the back there. Oh, Alex is actually sponsoring two boxes. He's got this box and a box of throne coming his way. Well, the box of throne will be released tomorrow. Haunted Nightmare. Nice. Polywog symbiote. So, Alex, I uh, do appreciate it. And um, boom. If you'd like, again, if you want to sponsor a box opening video, just hit me up in the Discord or uh, join Patreon for even better discounts. Ah. You also get great monthly uh, deals in the um, in the Discord, so or I mean in the um, in the Patreon. So definitely check that out. Frondaland, Felidar, not really worth anything to talk home about right there. So we'll just keep on moving on with the moving on. That'd be a pack you open it at the pre-release and just and just pass on and just say I don't have anything in this deck. Go get the land out of that one, right? Zerta the Dawnbreaker, another good uh, rare there. Let's see. Nope, no alternate arts. We got about eight packs left. Alex, I'm hoping we hit at least another mythic for you, maybe even two. We got four so far. Let's get to that magic number six, and boom, there she is. The most expensive card in the set last time I checked. Fiend Artisan, great card. Mythic number five. Come on, six mythics. Let's go. Oh, and we had a great horn in the back there. Come on, you know what would make this this great? A luminous brood moth or a, or a foil mythic. Oh, heartless act, great foil right there. Really good card. And a Zagoth Triome alternate art. Wow, man, you're killing it with the Triomes. That's like three or four right there. And if you include the uh, alternate art foil we got earlier with the Ketria. Nice. Wow, this box has turned out to be a huge hit, man. This is awesome. 
the fact these went down or down to like 90 bucks plus shipping and tax online is pretty good. Brokos. Let's see. Nope, nothing else. All right, we got about five packs left. Come on, Mythic number five. And be honest, I don't even care what it is. Let's just get there. Oh, Whirlwind of Thought for foil number three. Foil rare number three. Wow, what a box, man. Bonders Enclave. Alex, you definitely got your money's worth and some, bro. Nice box. Great. And we still have the box topper to go as well. Okay, let's see. Oop, another Triome. Wow, this is definitely at least number four right there. I think we have two alternate arts and two regular arts. A Boneyard Lurker. Very nice, man. Three packs left. Can we get a Mythic? Can we close this out as a six Mythic box? Let's go. Oh, we got a foil. Foil. Pyroceratops. Shark Typhoon. This is a great card, man. Six CMC is high, but still, once you get it on the battlefield, it is so good. Um, all right. Awesome. Two packs left. Come on. Eerie Ultimatum. My opinion, the best ultimatum there is for a commander card, man. Great commander card. Boom. No alt. Let's see any showcases. Oh, Dream Tail Heron. Last pack. All right. Mythic here. This is going to be Mythic number six. Let's go. Mythic number six. Oh, we're going to slow roll it here. Ready? That's just a rare. Emergent Ultimatum. Not a bad card, though. All right. Can we hit the six Mythic in our box topper? We shall see. All right. Let's see. Oh, there is a little tear away here. Nice. Ooh. And it only tore a little bit. We want to go this way with the with the pack. There we go. There we go. Don't want to damage anything here. Okay. The moment of truth, Alex. Do we get a sixth mythic? Do we get a great box topper? Do we get a polywog? Let's see. Boom. Ah, oh, destroyer. It's the Everquill Phoenix. Um it's the Ever Everquell Phoenix uh, Godzilla art. Man, that looks pretty cool. It's a rare. Good box topper. Wow, what a great box overall, Alex. Uh, congrats, man. Again, you'll be getting all these cards here. Um, oh, I'll go ahead and set them aside, and they will be ready for you when you get when you uh, when you want to pick them up. Alex lives near me, so he can pick these up. So we have Vadrock, a Shovel, a Narset. General Kudro and a Fiend Artisan. What a great box, man. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you check out the other videos. And again, if you want to uh, sponsor a box, just hit me up uh, on Patreon and we'll get that squared away for you. And have a great day.